Hey folks, this is Kalani. In this Lords of Dread raid guide for normal and heroic, we'll go through the best strategy for taking down the ninth encounter in the Sepulchre of the First Ones raid. Before we jump in, be sure to hit up that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video. We always tank the boss at the side of the room, and we recommend using Lust on Pull. Both bosses have tank swaps and frontal attacks, so face them away from your raid and your two tanks cannot stack. Marganis will use Leeching Claws, this leaves a debuff called Open Veins. If Marganis hits a target with Leeching Claws, Claws, who has the Open Veins debuff, he heals for 10% of his max health, so you can't ever let that happen. Tank swap for every Leeching Claws, and no one but the tank can get hit. Contessa will use Anguish and Strike, it deals damage and damage over time, but you're swapping for Leeching Strikes anyway, so it's just extra damage. One of the more important abilities to watch out for is Cloud of Carrion. This is a debuff that gives players a small green circle around them, it deals increasing damage over time, and it will pass on to anyone who comes within the range of the circle. When you pass it on, you get a debuff that increases the damage you take from Cloud of Carrion, so don't spread it around if you don't have to. You want to hold on to it until you can get rid of it with the next ability, Fearful Trepidation. Several players get big purple circles around them, you need to take the green circles into the purple circles, but try not to pass the green circle on. When the purple circle explodes, it gets rid of the Cloud of Carrion debuff on anyone who gets hit. This is the only way to get rid of it, so anyone with the green circle really has to be in those purple circles. We had the purple circle stand still and the green circles move to them. Whenever you remove a green circle by using the purple fear in this way, small green circles shoot out in several directions. You have to dodge those little green circles as well, so keep your eyes open. If you can't get rid of your green circle or you miss a purple fear, remember to pass your debuff on if the stacks get too high. We pass them on above 5 stacks. Stacks. There will also be purple puddles that slowly move around the room. If you touch one, you get put to sleep, so just avoid them as best you can. There are also ads that spawn throughout the room. When they first spawn, you cannot deal damage to them. They cast a raid-wide AoE that can be interrupted, but every time they cast it, they gain 15% of their max health. When they reach full health, you can kill them, so you actually want to not interrupt until they reach full health, then focus them down quickly. If the raid is taking a lot of damage, you might want to interrupt one just to let you heal catch back up, but the faster it gets to full health, the faster you can kill it. When Malganus gets to 100 energy, both bosses turn into swarms. They deal raid-wide AoE damage, so use a healing cooldown or two, but they also take extra damage from AoE abilities while in a swarm form, so it's a bit of a DPS phase as well. When Contessa gets to 100 energy, she casts Infiltration of Dread. Everyone becomes hostile to one another, and the bosses will hide within one player each. Several of the raid members will see a floating Malganus and Contessa behind specific people, People, they need to call out who they see because the targets of infiltration will actually see incorrect players being marked. If you have several people calling out the same name with either Malganis or Contessa above them, damage that player. When both bosses have been found and their harboring player damaged enough, the bosses will pop back out. If you're having trouble seeing the targets, I would recommend you turn off nameplates, have everyone spread out, and we found it easier if everyone started jumping just to get a quick visual on the boss models. If you don't find the imposters quickly enough, you will wipe. The only difference on Heroic Mode is that each time a boss gets to 100 energy and uses their special ability, they increase the effectiveness and damage of their abilities, so the fight gets harder the longer it goes on. When either of the bosses die, they also deal constant raid-wide AoE damage, so you have to kill them at the same time. And that's all you should need to take down the Lords of Dread on Normal and Heroic. If you have any leftover questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll help out as best I can. A big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, you can see their names floating by on screen. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always I'll see you next time.